Well, Maggie, 2.2 homework, if you're on question one. So in this question, you have a survey of 200 people, and we have the following information. 94 of them, they said they have DVD players, and 127 of them uh, said they have microwave oven, and 78 of them actually said they have both. There you go. So what is this 200? 200 people forms a set that is actually your universal set. So the cardinality of your universal set is equal to 200. So let us form a Venn diagram. 200 people, you have two sets, DVD player owners and microwave online owners. So you have the first set. You have your second set, so DVD and microwave. So what information are given to you? Let us start by writing the center of the intersection between these two sets has cardinality 78. So let us write this right here. 78 people, they have both DVD player and the microwave on. So what's the meaning of that? It means that out of the people, those people who own DVD player, 78 of them, they also own a, a microwave oven. So the cardinality of the first set is 94, 94. And 78 of those 94 people also own a microwave oven. What's the meaning of that? It means that the number of people who only uh, own DVD player is going to be 94 minus 78, which is equal to, let's do the subtraction, six and nine. So 16 people only own DVD player. Only DVD player. So with the same argument, the cardinality of microwave oven owners is 127. Out of those 127 people, 78 of them also own a DVD player. So the number of people who only own a microwave oven is 127 minus 78, which is equal to, let's do the subtraction, for 49 people, only microwave. Well, we have these questions. Now that you have your main diagram, you can actually answer the questions easily. The first one says, what's the cardinality of the set, set of people who own DVD player or microwave? DVD player or microwave. Or union. So we have to take the union of these three sets, the set on the left hand side, the middle set, which is the intersection, and the right hand side. So if you add these numbers together, you get one, you get 16 plus. 78 plus 40. Let's do the addition here. Here we get 94 plus 49, which is equal to 147. This is the union. So out of 200 people, 147 actually uh, responded to this survey and we have the information exactly very well. B says, well, let me take a look at the question. It says, what's the cardinality of uh, the people who own a DVD player but not a microwave oven? DVD player but not a microwave Oh. 
So just take a look at your Venn diagram. What do you have? Only DVD owners. DVD owners and microwave oven, only microwave oven owners. So as you can see, it's going to be just 69. It's actually saying that, hey, if the cardinality of set A and but is translated into and intersection and not a microwave problem. So it is B, which is equal to 16. So for this one, we have N of A union B. So there's all of these in mathematical notations. And C, C is going to be the opposite of B. C says, hey, what's the number of people who own a microwave oven but not DVD player? A microwave oven but not a DVD player. Okay, let us take a look at our Venn diagram. Our Venn diagram. Only microwave owners, not any DVD player. So it's going to be just 40. How do we translate that? It is N of A prime, not a DVD owner, and they only have microwave oven, which is 40. And D, let me take a look at D, neither a DVD player nor a microwave oven. Neither. A DVD player nor a microwave oven. Okay, so it means that whatever is outside these two sets. The cardinality of your universal set is 200. So 200 universal set minus, minus the cardinality of this combination of these two sets, which is equal to, so 16 plus 78 plus 49. If you add them all together, you get the cardinality, which is equal to, so by adding these two, we get 94 and 49, which you know it is equal to the union, so 143. So when you do the subtraction here, you get 7 and 57 people have no DVD player nor a microwave. Mathematically, you can write it this way. And of A union B prime, which we know that by applying the Morgan's law, it is N of A prime intersection. It is equal to 